Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ray Ray Beats. Today I'm doing a mixing and mastering tutorial in FL Studio. This was requested of me by one of my followers. So let's get started. I made this little beat. It's very simple. Um, there is no right or wrong way to do things do this the cool thing about mixing and mastering is it's unique it's unique to you if you were to put an engineer if you were to put two engineers in front of the same track there's a really good chance that they would both mix her it mix it and come out with a completely different product so just keep that in mind you don't have to follow everything I do to the T first I'm gonna start with mixing these drums and deciding all the volumes and then I'm gonna add EQs to some of them and maybe some effects let's listen <laughs> All right, the first thing I've decided is that my kicks need more bass. I soloed the kick and put it on effects channel two, and now we're gonna uh, mold the sound of this kick and make it a lot bassier. I'm gonna effect, I'm gonna add an EQ. I add an equalizer to almost everything I do, no matter what DAW I'm using. So first thing we're gonna do is just boost those low end frequencies a little bit. Wow, you hear that immediate difference? I'm even gonna turn the volume down a little bit. And I'm gonna get rid of some of these highs. And maybe raise the mid frequencies a bit. All right. That's a good sounding kick. All right, let's bring the snare in. I'm gonna put the snare on effects channel three. Put an equalizer on that, raise some of the lower mids, get rid of some of the highs. And maybe turn the snare down just a little bit. Let's bring the hats in now. All right, the hats I wanna put on effects channel four. Oh, you know what? As I was cruising through, I heard them on effects channel 3, the same effects channel that we're using for the uh, snare, and it sounded pretty good. So I'm going to leave it like that and just turn them down. Alright, and now we have this scratch sound. I think that's good as is. I can leave it as it is. I might just turn it down a little bit. All right, now the last part of the drums we have is the breakbeat snares that I included, so. Oh, let's put the gross beat back on on there. They're in effect channel one. All right. There's a lot of hi-hat sounds bleeding through there and uh, I'm gonna get rid of some of the high-end frequencies because I don't want those hi-hats. I'll get rid of the low end too because it's just snares. And I'm going to turn that break beat down a little bit. Alright, now the next, the next part is going to be mixing our sample into our drums. So I just turned those channels on. Uh, I don't know if I told you earlier, these, this flute sample, you can get it in my Vinyl Essentials pack, which is free to download at www.beatsbros.com. So you can have that same break beat and that same uh, loop sample. They're in my free sample packs. Let's mix this sample into the uh, beat. First thing we're going to do is give uh, both of those channels and both of those uh, tracks an effect channel. So I'm putting them both on channel 7. Give them an EQ, because I always do. Now, let's mess around with this EQ and see what sounds good. Alright, so I dropped all the low end and most of the mid, and I raised the highs. I think that sounds good. I'm going to drop the volume on this sample, though. I want it to be in the background. I think it cuts through because it's all high frequencies. It cuts through everything, and it's very easily noticeable. So for that reason, I can drop its volume a lot. You'll still be able to notice it. It'll sound smooth, and it won't be competing for volume with everything else in the beat.
and our kick drum can be turned down a little bit, I just realized. All right, so now we're gonna try and mix this bass line in right here. Boom, here's our bass. Let's give it an effects channel, effects channel eight, right? And first thing we're gonna do is put an EQ on it, of course. Let's see how that sounds. I'm gonna drop the sample out for a minute. All right, so it's a bass line. Of course, we want low frequencies. Drop out the highs. Let's see how this will sound if we drop it down an octave. Wow, you hear that? So I dropped it down an octave. Uh, and we have this EQ on it. I'll take the EQ off for a second. Hear how it sounds without the EQ? Here's the EQ on. Uh, since it is so low and it's only producing such low frequencies, uh, let's try and raise some of the mid a little bit. Make it more noticeable. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I'm actually gonna, I might compress it too with this uh, maximize, Maximus device. See how that sounds? All right, and I'm gonna go find a preset uh, NY compression. Turn the volume down very much. sounds really good I really like that bass realized I forgot these percussional snappy sounds let's give them a track and put a, a reverb on them because they would sound or a delay rather they would sound really nice bleeding over into the next measure so let's do that and maybe an equalizer as well all high end on this and we'll be able to lower the volume a lot because it's all high end it cuts through so easily Put a delay on that bitch. All right, bass line. mess with some of the settings on the oscillator for the bass line too I would like to get a little bit more mid frequencies out of it it's all bass right now so I'm gonna mess with these settings uh, you hear that so I changed it to a uh, <coughs> changed it to a, I think that's a saw wave or whatever I changed the waveform on the second oscillator and raised the volume of it a little bit and the bass lines a little bit more noticeable now I'm actually going to change the EQ on it now. To tell you the truth, if I was just making this as a beat, and I was doing it by myself and this wasn't a tutorial, I would leave it how it was, but I have one more technique I would like to show you. That's uh, putting effects on the master, on the master effects channel, which any effect you put on here is gonna affect the entire beat. It's gonna affect every track in the beat. So we mixed this down, we mixed our volumes, we put EQs on everything, and we changed the uh, frequencies that come through on the EQs by manipulating the equalizers. And uh, now we're gonna put an equalizer on the master track. This is a really good practice. Even if your beat sounds good, it's still not bad to throw an EQ on the master track and manipulate it uh, to see how it makes the beat sound. So let's play the beat and mess with this. I might drop. I might raise the low end because we got a heavy bass. So I might raise the bass. I might drop out some of the mid and then raise some of the the higher mids. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> lower the bass a little bit. A 
lot of times if you have a beat that sounds really muddy, it's good to do something like this. See how I dropped out a lot of the frequencies? That, uh, that really cleans a beat up a lot sometimes when you have a lot of different frequencies at once. Just get rid of everything in the low mid section and it might be magic. But this sounds really good. I'm even going to go further to experiment by putting a, a sound goodizer on the master and just see how that sounds. Now the sound goodizer effect in Fruity is going to make it loud as shit. So I'm going to have I'm going to turn the master volume down right now and then we'll work up from there. like this a lot uh, as you can see I was just experimenting I didn't like how the sound goodizer sounded with the EQ so I took the equalizer off just to see how it would sound and I like it better uh, with the sound with just the sound goodizer on on um, patch a turned all the way up hundred um, percent amount so I like how this sounds it's completely different than had I not done that it sounds completely different <laughs> And it was good to begin with. They were all good, like good different masters, but I like this one better. I'm gonna turn the bass down just a little bit more. Cause it comes through. That bass really comes through. And the break beat is gonna come down too in volume. And the hi-hat can be turned down. That hi-hat was coming through way too loud. And that, that percussive snappy sound can be turned down too. All right, so there you have it. Sorry if this tutorial took too long. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. Fucking, uh, that was really cool. If you if you have any questions or you feel like I wasn't clear enough about anything, please just leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you right away. I check my channel every day. Uh, I'm just here to help. Uh, most of the samples I used in this beat, you can download for free on my website, www.beatsbros.com. I hope this was informative. I really don't have any, like, fail-proof techniques to mastering a beat it's different every time i sit down i listen i literally listen and i don't know what i'm gonna do till i do it meaning i throw an eq i always throw an eq on there and then i manipulate the eq and just see how it sounds sometimes i'm like all right hey i'm gonna raise the high the low end on this eq and i do it and i'm like no that sounds terrible gotta think of something else you know so uh, definitely think about frequency you know think about frequencies clashing if two instruments you have are clashing raise the low end on one and then drop the low end out of the other and like raise the mid or raise the high so that's a, that's the best advice i can give you to mixing and mastering maybe i'll finish this beat up and put it up on beatsbros.com for free download hope you enjoyed the tutorial everybody have a great day